Hey guys, this is Chris, the head of support and trading over here at Modus. And in this video, we're going to go over how to set up a new project in Lie GeoReference. All right, so the first thing we've got to go ahead and do is I have opened Lie GeoReference. And next, we're going to navigate to where our data is. So go ahead and click on the Browse tab. And what we need to do is we need to pull this live file. So go ahead and click it and click Open. This is going to open up the project inside LiGeo Reference. And as you can see, it's displaying our uh, initial trajectory. First thing we're going to want to go ahead and do is at the top left, click on the Settings tab. Now in here, we're going to make our way from uh, left to right. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. Starting here at the laser settings. Shouldn't have to touch anything in here should be displaying the name, or sorry, the serial number of your unit, the fact that it is an airborne sensor, and also the device name. It will automatically be pulling the necessary VPTS file from our uh, file structure. And again, we're not going to touch anything in here. Next, move over to the camera settings. You can see that it's also going directly over to where all of our images will be kept to colorize our point cloud. This is done automatically as well, so you shouldn't have to change anything in here. Next, we'll go over to the POS processing tab. Want to go ahead and have line nav selected as the method of processing. Go ahead and keep your baseline as INS uh, slash PPK. Uh, in this case, we are doing this because we are not running a multiple base situation. This is uh, for a single base. You can see that it's pulled the IMU file from the file structure automatically, so we're not going to touch anything there. Uh, next, we're going to go ahead and import our base station data. In this example, we'll be importing Rhinex files. So we'll select Rhinex. And now we'll go ahead and select our O and N files. <clears throat> so go, make sure we're going to the right one. Go to our base folder. There's our O file. And with this specific type of base station that was used, a, a MLID reach, um, the N file is actually a P file. As you can see, it is qualified as the same thing. So now that we got those open, um, we're going to tell it the location mode. Um, for this case, I'll show you how to enter it manually, but in a lot of cases, you are able to just pull it from the header when it's a Rhinex. Average is the least accurate one that is available to you here. And manual is what we're going to do, because in this case, we have already processed our base station data, run it through Opus, and we have coordinates for it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get these numbers entered here. Now, it's important to note that if you have already run your base station through Opus, that there are times where, well, it should be giving you everything in Easting, Northing and Easting. Um, and you'll see that there's a negative sign there. And what that means is that we're actually going to change this part right here where it says east. We're going to change that to west because um, it does not like negative values entered in here. But let me just get this finished up here real quick. Except for altitude. That is the only one, or the height. That is the only one where it is allowed to have a negative number and it will not cause issues. So again, this was actually supposed to be a negative number for east, which means we're going to turn it to west. Go ahead and enter your antenna height. 
and we're going to leave our pause selection as auto clips. Uh, next, we have to make sure we choose the proper coordinate system. This would normally be based off of whatever coordinate system your ground control points were selected in. In this case, for where we are, it's going to be, uh, I'm just doing it in, <coughs> excuse me, in the UTM zone 14 north. After that, we have uh, classification and smooth. We're not going to go ahead and worry about selecting these at the moment because they are, or changing anything in them because it's not necessary for just setting up the, the project. So we've gone through every one of these tabs now. Most important ones are just verifying that it is selecting the VPS, uh, VPTS file from uh, the folder your file structure for that project. Same thing with the camera file. This is one of the most important parts. Uh, choosing LiNav, choosing either Novatel, Rhinex, or this is actually new, RTCM3 for your base station file. Um, put, importing that base station file, choosing the location method again recommended to always use manual and have a uh, a process base station that has gone through Opus so you can get your known position. And then keeping this at uh, auto. And then the second most important thing is to make sure that you put it in the correct coordinate system based upon your ground control points. Uh, and again, we're not going to touch either of these two for now for setting up the project. And then we hit OK. And at this point, your project is ready for you to start processing it. So uh, I hope this was helpful, you guys. Um, please let me know if you have any other questions or any other videos you want done for processes in LiGeo Reference. Until then, this is Chris signing off. Thank you.